Hello everyone, welcome back to Carl Fix. Today I'm going to be fixing my oven which has no power, dead. As you can see, if I can bring you around the front, the clock is off. Whatever you do, there's nothing to it, no power. You can see there's click but no ignition. So I've opened it up. I didn't think I'd bother showing you that. It's basically unscrew some screws from the top lid. Easy enough, anyone can do it. And down here is the PCB, which is attached to the timer, which I believe that this compassor has gone, which I could solder another one in. But what I'm gonna do is actually, I've figured out a way to bypass the timer completely and not use it as if you look in my kitchen here i have two ovens so i use a timer on that one bypass the oven timer on this one so as you can see here it's all plugged in as it was um from the factory so if i zoom in a little bit you can see the two wires here, which are ground and earth, sorry, ground and power. I believe the blue is ground, the brown is power. As you can see, it tracks round, but I may be mistaken, but I did test this with the multimeter. Um, if I can show you. quite difficult to film this because it's a uh, tight space and I haven't got the oven cover completely off to get in there but let me try this. So you can now see the board. I'll get my multimeter now. I've put my oven on the wire so we'll get that out just to show you how I found the and um, what was the live and earth cables for this so I've got my multimeter set to voltage. I'll just put it down there so you can see the reading. And what I did is, this is a thermostat um, overload that goes through the power. So this is why I'm pretty sure brown is power. I put that power onto there and the negative on the earth. And as you can see, or if you can see, you can see that it goes to 250 volts, which is obviously household power. That's with the um, electricity obviously turned on. So I know this is power and blue is most likely earth. So I'll do is just unplug it now and show you what I did to bypass the timer altogether. So just yoink the power. Now as you can see with this board, power goes into here. Uh, it's difficult to see, but it splits into these two, which must mean the power goes in, then goes to these, which sends the power again. Or it takes the power from the thermostat. It also sends the power down here to what controls the gas and the ignition. So what as I did is unplug all of the power cables, which are extremely stiff to get out. Now you see, obviously they're now disconnected from the board altogether. And what I did is the one from the thermostat, which you know is coming directly from the power, I connected up to the cable that's going running across so you can see these wires here, they run across to the, um, but basically gives the power to regulate the gas from the knob on the outside. Um, obviously it gives power to that. So what I did was just connect these two cables together. And for now, just to test this theory, just for a couple of days and to cook a couple of meals with it, I'm not going to cut these and solder them yet 
also because I won't match try and change this compassor. I don't want to ruin these wires and connectors. So I'm just going to tape them for now. Use it for a couple of days. See if it works okay. If there's no problems, I may well just leave it. Or I may come back to this board, try and change the compassor to get that clock working. So a new one of these timers is £75. And when I've got two ovens and a phone and whatever else that I can use a timer, I'm not that bothered about fixing the timer for 75 quid when you can just bypass it. So like I say, I might come back to another video to try and fix this. I haven't got any compassors. There's a big compassor there, 1000 UF one, and that one's 68 UF. Probably try changing both of them and see if it'll work. But for now, I'm just gonna get a bit of electrician's tape. Take these two cables together. Obviously, it is imperative that you have unplugged the device before you start messing about like this. Let's get that little bit on there just to get it started. I just dropped my uh, tape down the back. The things you find down behind the back of your oven. I found someone's Epson printer disc behind my oven. So, God knows how that got there, and it's not mine because I've not had this oven out before. So, whoever lived here before me is obviously probably scrambling around looking for the printer disc, and it's behind the oven of all places. I don't know how it could have got there, unless it was left there as a little gift to me. But anyway, yeah, that's taped up. Look, that one, I think is just a spare power cable that goes in there. I'm not going to connect it at the minute, but I'll just show you if I plug it back in that it does fire up the gas. So if you come with me, um, set this stupid tripod up. You can see, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear the power. And obviously I can feel the heat. You might be able to see the flame in a moment. I get down in here. Just give it a minute to um, get going. Could definitely do with a clean this oven, but it has been out of action for a long time. I just thought I'd give it, and there you go. Can you see the flame now? From bypassing the clock, because a lot of these modern ovens will not work without the clock being set. So you'd have to replace the clock and the PCB, or if you can figure it out wiring-wise, you can bypass it. And as you can see, you can turn it up and down, and it's totally fine. So I'm going to run this like this for a few days, make sure that it runs okay, and I may come back to fix, trying to fix the timer, or I might not, depending on how much it is, or if I can get the capacitors easily and whatnot. But yeah, now I'll just put the screws back in the top, put it back into the um, slot in the kitchen, and see if it's gonna be okay. I'll oh, leave it on actually on the bottom of my kitchen floor in case it burns the bottom of my floor. So, as you can see, diplomat 
I think it's a 630GA or AP or ADP 0150 oven. That's how you can easily bypass your timer. If you want to see any more fixes of a variety of things, come back to the channel. Remember to like, favourite and subscribe. Peace.